Hello everyone, I am back with another episode and today we are going to understand is Google facing a serious threat from OpenAI's new search GPT. So just 4 days back a blog post was published on OpenAI official blog post that they are launching search GPT. Now this has been in the news a lot of times that OpenAI is secretly developing its own search engine and uh, 4 days back it became official that yes they are launching their own AI based search engine. When Google was initially released a few years back and it maintained supremacy for being the best search engine on the planet for a lot of years, a lot of competitors came in like Yahoo tried to do it best to outperform Google, even Microsoft Bing also Microsoft efforts were there to be the next Google or to be the next best search engine on the planet. But they couldn't beat Google hands down and it took an AI powered search engine with intelligent search results to finally gave a huge threat to Google and ChatGPT or OpenAI team wasn't trying to be the next Google in the first place they just used a tool called ChatGPT based on their research it took off and people started transitioning from Google's own website to ChatGPT to, to get the search results because it was much faster and you don't have to go to Google search, search for a website scan through 10 different websites and then find relevant information also some people don't like to go to unknown websites on the grounds of safety and ChatGPT takes that equation away and it just gives you the relevant information directly. Now the next iteration in this cycle is search GPT. So search GPT is a AI based search engine which has been in a prototype stage and it has been released by OpenAI in stages and eventually there is a plan to integrate that into the its own uh, ChatGPT platform. So if you go to the blog post and if you see the video where they are searching for some relevant content you can find that you search for some event and it is bringing the information in real time showing the results showing the links to the original content and so on and so forth now this has been done previously by another com company called perplexity so they came up with the idea of ai based summaries for search engine results and they were quite popular but they faced a backlash from content creators uh, website article publishers and news article websites as well because they were directly summarizing the content from websites which obviously took down the traffic to the original websites itself because the information was directly available on Perplexity's homepage. OpenAI is taking a cautious support approach in this case and that is why they haven't released it to the public yet. They are coordinating with the publishers, the content creators and also the overall internet creators so that they come up with a solution which is best suited towards the content creator so there will be a content feed where you will be shown the content as well as relevant links so that you click on them go to the website and they are trying to experiment so that they could find a best balance equation where the content creators don't get affected because if uh, entire traffic goes to chat gpt it might happen that content creators will stop creating content at all and at that time the chat gpt information will no longer be relevant and then people will just go to the website and so so in order to stop that we are trying to see and OpenAI is trying to see how best they can come up with a solution which is a better solution for them and if you go through the video in the blog you will see that it is a good solution on the way and we will find the results soon.